Regular with this match, a mixed martial arts contest in the featherweight division, set for three by five. As James Yang, the protege of Mighty Mouse Demetrius Johnson, takes on Raul Rosaro. Our global rule set for this one, the bout will be judged as a 15 minute match in its entirety and not round by round. Let's go now to our ring announcer, Dom Lau. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we begin with three rounds of five minutes in a one featherweight mixed martial arts contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he stands at 172 centimeters tall, training out of Survival MMA Fitness Hub, representing the Philippines. Please welcome Ruel Akeyama Rosado. And Introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he stands at 173 centimeters tall, training out of AMC Pancration, representing the United States of America! Gentlemen, you both know the rules, I expect a clean match. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Do not strike the back of the head or the spine, let's watch the low blows. Touch gloves if you want, and back up. Clear height advantage for James Young over Raul Rosaro to kick off one championship revolution, our leading card. Young, one of Demetrius Johnson and Bibiano Fernandez's training partners, on his Judge. one debut tonight. Judge. Judge. And you see Time ready? Demetrius Johnson in the corner the of Yang here. Let's go. A kung fu based dynamic striker with solid grappling skills, Yang, against an all out brawler with bad intentions in Rosaro. Looping left hand early from Rosaro, an outside thigh kick. Good outside leg kick again from Rosaro. Yeah, Yang's a heavy kicker, Michael. He likes to switch stances. He comes from that kung fu base. He's trained out there in Thailand, Holland, and he actually spent some time at a Shaolin temple in China. He is very well versed in mixed martial arts, and I've been really looking forward to this guy's debut here in one championship. He has an extensive amateur career out there in my hometown, Seattle, Washington. And uh, Raul Rosario is coming off of a big win against Legowo. So he's riding high on some confidence and he wants to keep this match standing and bang with Yang. So the combination work early from Rosario. Tank down there from Yang, nicely done. Goes to side control. Yeah, this is where we're going to start to see that DJ training that he's coming from. He's immediately gets into side control off the takedown. He starts to isolate that arm, looking for the Kimura. There it is. Now he's got that Kimura lock. He floats over in north-south, traps the arm, who chooses to let it go, but easily steps over into mount. Rosario's got to be very careful. This is not where he wants to be against Yang. He's got to scramble, try to work his way back up. Gives up the back in, his, in the process, though. Hammering away from the back, you can hear Demetrius Johnson saying, position before submission, as he coaches Yang through this situation. Hammer fist Only track, curling knuckles, side clean. of the head there. Justin Brown just telling Yang to keep it clean. Got to watch to not strike behind the ears and hit the back of the head. That is illegal. Yeah, good control from Yang right off the jump. Rosario, you can see how Yang's making Rosario kind of turn to his left, and he's giving up his back in the process. Rosario, unfortunately, he needs to go back to the mat and start hip escaping and moving. This is not where he wants to be. He's got to create some scrambling. He can't just sit here and wait because Yang's going to start teeing off head, on man. it. Kick your shot. Kick your shot. would like to get this back to his feet and employ that Muay Thai style he's well known for. Actually learned the Muay Thai basics from his uncle then began training in Filipino kickboxing, a style called Your Yan at age 20 years old. For Yang, his martial arts training began in a Chinatown garage before he started traveling the world in his teens. Looks for a rear naked choke here, does Yang. Can he find a first round submission on debut in one championship? Yeah, Michael, me and Yang actually trained in this, the same neighborhood in Chinatown in Seattle, Washington. And uh, he's not using none of that Kung Fu right now. He's uh, trying to attack the back here. Rosario's gotta be very careful to protect his neck. He's gotta fight the right hand. He's got to defend, but he's got to try to peel that left hand off of his head. Good defense, but um, Yang immediately switches to his opposite side. This could be that. now. Still a long time to go for Rosaro to defend. Is he going to tap out? It's under the chin. That's a bad spot, Michael. 
That's a bad spot. He's defending the top hand, which is the right technique. He's got to try to put his back on the mat right now, and he's got to give up the posture in the process. Yang squeezing on the rear naked. That's, that might be a wrap, Michael. He's a little bit, got a little bit of space on the left side of his neck, you can see. Rosario's doing a good job of defending, but he's not a good idea to go belly down. Oh, Yang slaps it on a little tighter now. Rosario in all sorts of bother. No place to go. 120 remains. First round set for three. Rosario's doing a good job, Michael, here of kind of just yeah, angling to the side. Yeah. See how he wow. can't quite get it? That's tough yeah. defense right there from Rosario. Right there. That was good. Right in front of Yang's corner where DJ can coach him through this, but he'll be disappointed not to have found the submission. What defense, what resilience from Rosario. Under yeah, 60 seconds remaining. Rosario's been training for this for a long time. He's been putting a lot of groundwork out there in Cebu, Philippines, really trying to fine tune that technique. Good job, see, he has to put his back on the mat. He has to go chest to chest with Yang, but he gives up the mount. He, Yang was thinking about spinning to an arm bar. He's got about 40 seconds right now. Let's see if Rosario can survive this. I think Yang might try to just attempt to squeeze. Like so Rosario, find the legs like that. 30 seconds to defend here for the Filipino. Keep your finger out of the gloves. If it gets to the start of the next round, it will start standing the striking distance that Rosario will enjoy. Flattens him out now. Here come some blows to the side of the head from Yang. Still has the back of Rosaro. Final 10 seconds. It looks like the Filipino will see out the round. Short elbow off the right arm there from Yang. Hills and knuckles him nicely. And we are going to the second. It was all about survival for Roel Rosaro. Dominant five minutes for James Yang right there. It all started with this. Rosaro looks good on his feet for the first couple minutes, but you can see the way that Yang got that double leg. He passed the leg off to the side, was ended up in side control, and then just started the beat down. You gotta wonder, all these submission attempts, all these rear naked choke attempts, I know he's in shape, I know he's coming prepared, but how are the arms feeling right now at James Yang? Is he tired from uh, all those submission attempts? I don't know, only he does. But uh, that was a dominant first five minutes for James Yang right there. Rosaro needs to come with something a little bit more heavy. He needs to be very aware of that takedown. He does not want this to go to the ground again because he's starting to look a little bit uh, worse for the wear. James Yang, the former aerospace factory worker, now finds himself at the very top of the martial arts world on his one championship debut. Round two, let's go. Second round. Great opening round for Yang. Catches the kicking leg. Nice take down there from Yang. That was nice. Caught the left, swept out the right. Easily passes into side control. Lots of instructions coming from both corners here. You can clearly hear Demetrius Johnson in the corner of Yang. Pins the arm as Yang can't get a hold of it though. Firearm control now from Yang, little dropping elbow to the throat there. Yang's doing a good job of using his left knee to prevent Rosaro from sh uh, hip escaping out and retaining his half guard. Good top control. You can see this is a lot of influence from Demetrius Johnson. I was going to say, Drake, top game. it's very Demetrius-esque, isn't it? Yeah, he spent a long time. He spent like six years um, training with DJ out there at AMC. And uh, you can see the Watch influence, the especially in the eyes, that side control. The way he attacks that Kimura easily takes the back. I think if he can just get the angle right, he can either ground and pound him out by flattening him out, or he could look for that rear naked choke. I think the easiest route is going to be the ground and pound. If he just starts to tee off right here, the referee's going to be forced to jump in and stop it. I hear those punches to the side of the head of Yang as DJ just cautions him, not the back of the head. Don't want a yellow card or an accidental out, DQ here. Oh, how patient he is. impacted that one. How patient he is. He's taking his time, picking his shots. He's aiming. You can see that. He's taking, got him in his scope, picking his shots very carefully. And that patience, Dragon, is also Bibiano esque. Another training partner of his, Bibiano Fernandez. Yeah, Bibiano regularly makes that trip down from Canada to AMC out there in Kirkland, Washington. Yourself, and, uh, they really put in a lot of work with Yang. Defend yourself, Blue! Here's that ground and pound. Blue, defend yourself! Impact these punches, and that'll do it, says Justin Brown. James Yang wins.
by a second round TKO. Welcome, James Yang, to one championship. Yeah, I like Yang as the addition to the featherweight division. He's going to be a problem for a lot of people. Look, he's big, he's strong, he's got good stand-up. He's got an aggressive ground game. He's got a good corner man. He's the whole pack. Yeah, the corner, the corner man's decent, right? He's decent. <laughs> Look at this. This ground and pound. Gets that mount position and just starts teeing off on it. Didn't empty the gas tank. Just slowly started to pick him apart. Built the volume as he went. Good control. Good top game. I'm looking forward to seeing more of James Yang. The sound of those gloves rattling into the side of the head of Rosaro was scary indeed. James Yang leading it all fly in the second round and there was no place for Raul to go. Great refereeing by Justin Brown. Let's go to Tom Lau, make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Justin Brown, has called a stop to this contest after two minutes in the second round for your winner by way of technical knockout, James Yeah! Highly impressive. A flawless performance on...